Hi all, let's see the interview scenario too. This scenario is quite special for me uh, because this particular implementation looks simple. The results might look simple, but the implementation is also simple. The way that you approach it, the way you have to design it, the way you have to uh, take the steps to solve it, it's quite special and a bit complex. Uh, you can start this code and I'll give the entire code in the video description itself. It doesn't require any data sets to read from a file. The data file itself is creating through the code. So no problem, directly take the code in and put it in your Eclipse or IntelliJ or any Spark shell if you want. That's why I made this data ready file. Now coming to this scenario, so this is it all about. I have a single data as a source, single data frame. Consists of only child and parent. But if you see, the A is a child, B is a child, and C is a child. The parent of A is double A. The parent of uh, uh, B is double B. The parent of C is double C. In the same table, you would see that the child of A, double A is, so, uh, uh, I mean, the parent of double A is triple A. The parent of double B is triple B. The parent of double C is triple C. The hierarchy goes this way, right? So how the hierarchy goes? He is a child. He is a parent. He is a grandparent. Simple. He is a child. He is a parent. He is a grandparent. He or she. Right? So that's how it works. But the major issue right now is entire data is sitting in a single data frame. How can this can be resolved? Right? If you see the output, right? Especially like parent, child and parent is coming as usual here. Look at it. The child and parent is coming as usual here. But the question is, we have to find a way to also to match this grandparent to this particular parent. This is our final output they're expecting here. So validate now. So I have a child, I have a parent. Then I have to find the grandparent of it also. That's how that's what we are expecting actually. So how can we achieve it? Let's think in the how an approach can how can we start our approach actually? Let's think it that way. So first you have to think, right? So I have a child, I have a parent for it, but this parent do exist in the child also. Check on it. So the parent which you see here is sitting in child also here. And I have to compare it. How can I compare it? To be honest, once I saw this scenario, initially I didn't get a proper idea. But what I thought, I have to do a data frame comparison for itself. That means this particular data must be compared to the other column of the same data frame. One column of a data frame is compared to the other column of a data frame so that I can easily fetch this, this values to be here. So finally, I'll get the required data frame. Like how I how I start started solving it. Now, what I thought, I took this data frame out. Right? I took this data frame out and I took the same data frame again. I took both the data frames, same data frame two times. Actually, I have only DF, right? I have only DF. This data frame name is DF. Imagine this data frame name is DF, right? Now, what I did from DF, I took two data frames, DF1 and DF2. Same data frame, but I took two data frames from DF. Same data frame, but I took two data frames out of it and I'll do a join, inner join. So the join comparison will happen between these two columns. These two columns, I can perform an inner join. See, what I mean to say is it's the same data frame, but I'll create two data frames of the same data frame. I'll give one name as df1, other name as df. Now I'll join this column the parent column of DF1 to the child column of DF1 so that the comparison happens between these, the inner join happens between these values 
and this values and I can easily fetch out this triple A and I can match it here. As simple as that. I, inner join. It's very simple join. So what I'm going to do, it has only DF. I'm, I'm agreeing it. But to achieve this result, I'll create two data frames from the DF. DF1 and DF2. Then I perform an inner join of DF1 parent to the DF2 child. So that what it will happen, but I have to rename it. Definitely I'll rename it to child1, right? And parent1 like that. For example, I have to rename these columns. During read itself, I'll rename these columns. So, so that I can perform a comparison between a parent of DF1 to the child1 of DF2. Then I can easily get these values, grandparent values, to here. This becomes my required output, right? So that I can do. Now let's go with the solution. With respect to the data readiness, you need not to create a file and read it. I have already programmatically created the data inside the code itself, eliminating the uh, dependency on file read. So if you see this, yeah, this is my data frame. I have not read it. I've created a data here itself. I cannot a data frame here itself. So no problem. There is no file dependency. That this particular code is available in the description of this YouTube video. Now, child and parent, this I have. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take two data frames. Well, df1 is equal to df. Well, df2 again is equal to df. I'm creating two data frames. But I will rename this value as, right, with column renamed as, right? I'll just rename it as child2, child2, right? I'm renaming this, or child1, anything is okay, child1. And also I'm renaming this with, right, parent2, parent1. So that I'll show this df1, two data frames are ready right now, df2, two data frames are ready. You can also achieve this using a self-join, but you can do this way also. Right? It's more clarity, more clear. You can do that. Performance is same. So no problem. So from DF, I created two data frames. DF1 and DF2. But in DF2, I have created, I have renamed it. See? This is my raw data frame. This is DF1. Same, no change. But DF2 alone, I've changed this name, the column name. Now it's time to join the data frames. Now have it joined. Right? Now, well, joined df is equal to df1 dot join. First, I'll solve it in DSL. Then I'll solve it in SQL. df2, comma. Now, I have to join this. Now, I have to join this column, df1's this column to the child one of this column. I have to do a comparison between these two columns. This is df1 and this is df2, right? So I have to compare these two. I have to join these two. So look at the code. df1's parent is equal to df2's child1, right? df2's child2. So, right? So child1. So the comparison happened between the parent of df1 and the child1 of df2 which is nothing but your inner join. This solves the maximum problem, right? Now let me write it, join df dot show. Let's see the output, the intermediate output. Yes, we're almost positive, right? Child, parent, child one, and parent one. So what's left? So let's, we don't require this child one anymore. So let's drop child one. Dot drop of child one. Then rename it with, with column rename, right? Parent one to 
grandparent so that this becomes my final output. This is my final output. I draw child one and I also rename parent one to the grandparent. That will solve the problem. We'll get the required output. Since we are doing the inner join, it will only pick the common values which are matching, right? So uh, if you closely watch, I could able to achieve this. Since it's an inner join, since only the, the values are matching, only these values are matching, right? Only these values are matching with the left table of this. So only these values are fetched out and attached at the bottom. And I dropped it and renamed it. Problem solved. I got the required output. See, this is my required output. We got it. Now, how can we achieve this using SQL? Same. But how can we achieve it in SQL? Let me write the SQL command. You can you can solve either way you want, which you feel comfortable. I suggest to go with DSL because we are the big data developers more than the SQL admins or SQL developers. Now, select, right? A, before that, we have to uh, give the name for it. df or replace temp view, right? I'm giving the name for it as df1. Now I'm also giving the name for it as df First I have to assign the name, then let's shoot spark sql command. In the spark sql command, all right, let me write the uh, code now. Now, let me write the, let me break it down into multi-line so that you can easily understand that, but you need to have triple quotes in the triple. Now, select a dot child, comma, a dot parent, comma, B dot parent two, right? Or parent one, sorry, or parent one. Same, but I'm designing a SQL query as grandparent. Now, now let it will go with the join query from df one of A join df two of B, right? On a dot parent is equal to b dot child one. Very simple. The same join I'm performing here. Same join. So join is happening between the first table parent to the second table child. The table names are df1 and df2 as I registered here. Then a dot child, b dot parent, and b dot parent one with the grandparent. I'm just renaming here itself. I'm putting the show here itself. Instead of putting a variable. So this using DSL, this using SQL, that will solve the problem. This is almost like a self-join, but why I did not prefer going with self-join is for a better understanding of a scenario. You can solve either way you want. Yeah. So this you will get the final output. I'm putting entire code in the description. Please solve it accordingly. That's it. This becomes an SQL solution. Thanks a lot, folks. We'll post the next scenario. Uh, get it done. You need not any... You, doesn't require any file to do this. Every file data creation is done as a part of this code itself. Thanks a lot.